<laughs> hey guys, welcome to Lauren's Christmas Kitchen. Today's recipe is going to be a chocolate caramel protein truffle and it is honestly next level good, so let's do it. Okay, now to the ingredients that we're gonna be using today. So the dry ingredients, we have got almond meal, we have got some salt and cinnamon, and also some of the blessed choc coconut protein. Now, for those who don't know, blessed protein is our plant-based protein. 23 grams of protein per serve. It cooks up really well as opposed to whey protein. So if you guys cook things like protein pancakes and anything like that, this is really good. Uh, it's also not only good for like if you are um, vegetarian, vegan, but if you do find that regular whey protein gives you a little bit of an upset belly, then for anyone who does have a sensitive stomach, this is your go-to. And for the wet ingredients that we're gonna add today, we've got peanut butter. Um, we've got some maple syrup and also vanilla extract. Okay, so we're just gonna start off by putting all of the dry ingredients together into a mixer. So the best thing about this recipe is that it is a no-bake, no-cook recipe. All you have to do is once we've mixed up the ingredients is to roll them up into balls and then we'll pop them in the freezer for a little bit. Fridge freezer. So now we've got our mixture ready to be rolled up. Now if you are someone that is counting your macros, what I do suggest is entering it in, um, so putting it all in bulk and then dividing it per how many balls you actually make up, just to make it really easy so you know exactly how many protein, fat and carb is per each little truffle that you are making. Okay, so now we're just gonna pick up the mixture and roll it into little balls. It honestly is personal preference with how big or how small you want to make these. That's how we're going to make them. Okay, so now I'm going to put them in the fridge just for a couple of hours. It's not 100% necessary. You could pretty much eat them as they are right now. But just to firm them up a little bit, I'm going to pop them in the fridge for one to two hours. them out of the fridge and so now I'm going to put them in a little gift bag so just lined it with some baking paper perfect little sweet treat to take um, to a family occasion or to give to someone as a little gift 